guys, so I did go back to the Target one spot. I knew they get a truck on Monday. It's another day, but I'm a little fuzzy on that day. Um, but I know on Mondays, so I did not get these the very first time, the little white houses, and I kept thinking I should have. When I went back Saturday with Mama, there was nothing in the one spot. I mean, nothing. And I was like, I can't believe I couldn't even really show her what, you know, they have. So after looking at a few videos, I kind of filtered out on Instagram um, what I really wanted. And of course, it was the little white houses. And they were $3 a piece. Now, I think, I thought it was three styles. But it's only, I think, these two styles. But um, two should be enough. So the tall house. There is the DCPI number. And let's see if the little house, you can put a tea light in there. If it's the same number or not. And I'm in my dining room. And so I have some stuff from Dollar Tree to show you guys. A few things. And because I want to start using some of these things. And um, I think Walmart. Just a few. Then I wanted some of the bottle brushes. I knew I should have got them the first time. So I picked up two of those in white. And the DCPI number for these, the little ones are a dollar. And the big ones are three dollars. And they had just about almost everything restocked um, that, of course, I wanted. I picked up a silver one. And it has the same number. I also picked up the little, I didn't think I wanted this till I saw someone else haul it. The ceramic tree. And here is the, I don't know what's going on. Let me just read it. 234030123. So that's the same as the little white houses, which is weird. Okay. Then um, I wish I did get the washing. And um, I'm glad that they got some more in stock. And I end up getting just this washi after looking at them because one of them is similar other than the plaid. I think two of them is similar to what they had before. So I really like the color um, of this washi. And this is kind of not the same color as that. But I really like the color of that. Of the Christmas trees. I did pick up another holly um, branch. Berry holly branch. And the number for this one is 2340300086. And my camera's not focusing because I don't have it on auto. I have it on another setting so it'll be lighter. Okay. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I don't know if they had this the first time, but when I saw, I can't remember who was it that hauled it, or either it was on Instagram, and I was like, I want this picture. Um, I know they had them all stuck together and it was like jam packed. So this was the only one left just for me and it was $3. And I said, I hope you was looking so fast. You don't know if they had it or not. And so I wanted to share that before I, I don't know, fix it up some way. And also from Walmart, I picked up this flock garland guys. And sorry if it's like lights and everything in here I was cleaning up my craft space which I'll share with you guys and I may give a sneak peek in this video I don't know but they um I ordered some slip covers to put on my sectional so I won't have to buy a new one a new couch and stuff which I really want which I know what I want I already found it but I'm trying to you know save money so anyway I'm disappointed that the slip covers don't fit because I ordered them off eBay. Um, one of them does. The L part doesn't. But anyway. I don't know why I got off on that. The 9 foot flock garland. Which I thought was so pretty. For $12.96. And I think I'm going to make go back. And get one maybe two more. If they're there. And Katrina's like ma. It's going to be here. And I said no it's not. Because there's already some missing. And um, I'm still looking at that fireplace. And I really don't really. I kind of go out and do what I want to do <laughs> when I want something but I was like I was telling my hubby that I really want that fireplace from Big Lots and they have one and um anyway so maybe he'll get it okay so in my box of ornaments that I recently got from Dollar Tree I think I showed you guys a set maybe two or three of them um I did go back and get some more of the angel wings 
in the gold and I'm gonna take this upstairs probably actually now and I also picked up from sorry from jumping around I'm doing what's down here and what I took upstairs and I picked up a white Christmas tree and I did put that up today and just to see Saya's face so I'll show you guys that in my craft room so I picked up um three more of these if I can find any more I'll pick up maybe three more I did pick up find two more of these which I'll probably show when I go upstairs and the only other thing um, I picked up was these rustic um, looking really they look really cheap if you look at them there's nothing but cardboard and look like they might have did it with a cricket or something but hey the work is already done for a dollar and then here's a Christmas tree that was a reindeer and snowflake and I probably need three more of these but um or six more but I don't know and I think I showed you guys everything else um, the other two angel wings in white and the rose gold and yeah that's everything down here okay guys I also it was one more thing down here saw these placements and I only picked up four of them I may go back and get two for each place setting and I will share I did share a sneak peek of my harvest Thanksgiving tablescape fall um, you know tablescape and I am slow at doing stuff, but I get it done eventually. Um, slow. I just got a million things to do in my world. So, um, Better Homes and Garden placemats. And they're $2, almost $3. And um, the jute, the natural jute. And I like these. I really like these. And you can just use these for everyday use or whatever. But I wanted to use these for my tablescape this year so stay tuned for that and my fall tour I'll go ahead and do that sometime soon it's always cloudy lately for some reason so that I can um share that with you guys because I'm gonna probably start Christmas soon okay guys so I also picked up the other day from Walmart the four foot pre-lit Indiana spruce clear lights um four foot tree and um it was $25 and I think it was $25 because it already has lights on it and it was really easy to put together and just how I was trying to get into this box he watched a lot of toy uh -oh, toy unboxing so he was trying to get scissors y'all um scissors and um or a pen or something to open it I was like boy no so this is what the tree looks like and let me change the setting this is what the tree looks like and it's gloomy outside today so um it's not bright in here like it normally is but i really like it i have to take the tags off it's full and i haven't even um put any ornaments on it yet but just to see his face um i did pick these other things up I've been picking these up I don't know if I, I didn't share these in a haul but you can use these as tree skirts the super soft microfiber cloth and that's like the white color and I plan on using that for something else but I draped one around there and yeah so I think I'm getting ready right now to put this up on the wall and I guess the last straw of moving out of the hallway was when Josiah um, dropped it on the floor. No, slammed the door and it fell on the floor. And I thought all my bottles that I've been collecting broke, but they didn't. And lastly, guys, that I know of, that I can think of, that I've been picking up is this stuff right here. So I did pick up a reform from Walmart, and I do have one from uh, Dollar Tree, but I can't find it right now. But I don't think it's as large as this one. And for my door, I need one that's this large or larger. So I am going to do a DIY. It was 247, I believe. Um, and show you guys how to do that reef I did for fall. And I posted that. No, I posted it on the channel too. I also picked up these wired garland ties. And I'm going to use that as a DIY as well. And we went somewhere and decided to close the football game. Josiah's hands was cold, and I do plan on taking them to the 
Christmas parade in Raleigh. So that will be fun. I have not even taken my boys to that parade at all. I don't think Cottrell's been at all. And I used to go um, a little quite often, not all the time growing up. But um, that's because my dad was a cop and he knew where the best places were. And we would just end up anyway going. But these are the kids' gloves. And he likes the feel of these because I love these gloves. I have to have them with driving the bus and the steering wheel is so cold. And that looks really um, large for a kid, for a toddler. So that's why I picked up the mittens and you get two for um, a dollar. And lastly that I can think of, because I have stuff like everywhere, um, this sign that says Tis the Season from Dollar Tree I thought was cute. And I really like this one that says Merry Christmas where it looks like it's um wood but it's not and um i actually picked up two because i might want to prop one somewhere and then also i want to put it um on the reef and i'll show you guys when i do that hopefully soon oh no it's two other things i forgot i also picked up this sign it was on sale at marshall's um or decor piece for six dollars and I think what I'm going to do is I am going to spray paint this. I think I am. I don't know. And it says hashtag flawless. It's kind of hard to make out what it is. And then up here, of course, it was in the Christmas stuff. But, of course, I had to get it. And this was um, $4.99 or $5.99 at Marshall's. Uh, where are you? It was $4.99. And I had to get it, and it's a satch, satchel, um, what is it called? Fragrant satchel, so you can put it in the little pocket there in the back, a little satchel, um, fragrance thing. And so I can put that in there, especially, um, the little, uh, fragrance things from Kirkland's, Kirkland's. And there is a few other things that I want to get. Some like I did get something from Kirkland's, but I don't remember what it was. Or maybe I was thinking about it too much. But um, I'll just share it with you guys when I do get it. I think it's two things I want. One from... I'm thinking about Hobby Lobby because I haven't been to Hobby Lobby and I don't know when. I want to see what they have for Christmas. But I want to get something from Walmart. Two things, I believe. And then another maybe flock of that garland. And I'm painting. Always painting something. And also, it's on the tip of my tongue, y'all. Kirkland's, Kirkland's is something that I want from Kirkland's. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this haul. It's all different places. <laughs> and I appreciate you watching as always. And, oh, let me show you. Let me show my slip covers. Because you guys watch all the time, and I know that I don't upload regularly, and it shows <laughs> with the views, but you know whatever but um i do appreciate you guys that do watch on a regular even though if you comment or even if you don't and um so i thought i'd just give you a sneak peek of what i'm working on so on instagram i posted some pictures of my craft area which i think i'll divide up in sections but look at this um there is a beautiful sleeper sofa that i want with a matching ottoman and a matching chair and um but i said i was gonna save my money and just do the slip covers and i ordered the wrong size you see that so when i do get this all together um i want to get a pink rug here i need to shampoo the floor remember my boys are in here and i want to get a round table here probably from the thrift store and chalk paint it so um yeah and then over here i guess i show this over here this part i actually wanted my craft space to be white with like the rustic um better homes and garden organizing cubes but i haven't had to really buy anything but these slip covers and um i think i'm yeah i'm okay that's what i'm gonna do so my entertainment center that was downstairs i have a new one now it's still downstairs <laughs> pushed to the end of the living room that's why i still haven't did a tour i'm in the process of painting is coming back upstairs and um get my husband and my son to bring it upstairs this wood piece will go in 
Cottrell's room. Still working on that room, but he wants to junk it back up and mess it up. And I can't really get in there. And I'm not about to be cleaning up no grown person room. In other words, quote, 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 grown. Um, anyway, and then um, paint. Maybe paint this or get rid of it. I don't know. So, it's like a whirlwind mess between um, the hallway and then here and trying to get everything and as soon as JJ got home he wanted to take over my TV and I'm like I'm watching YouTube so um, I really have to get JJ a TV so he can go play in his room um, the throw pillows um, I was going to put on my couch downstairs and I changed my mind about that not because they were white but I just thought it was a bit much to be for the living room and then um, the pillows I had before so now I have to order another slip cover and then I think what I'm going to do with the wall, I went ahead and started painting because I got tired. I had a photo collage on that wall and um, I'm going to have to paint the wall. Um, I think I'm going to paint it back white or either leave it this just with this one side of gray. But I think what I'm going to do would be easier just to paint it back white because I like how all the sun comes in and it's so bright in here and everything. And I think I'm going to move the pictures that are in the living room up here. And my plug is in the middle of the wall because the TV was supposed to be here. Um, this is supposed to be in our game room. And the surround sound was supposed to be over there. I don't know if you can see where it's another like outlet cover over there. Outlet cover there. And um, the cords were supposed to go back behind the wall so you wouldn't see any cords. And we don't even use it that way. So I'm going to have to get creative and cover up that plug somehow. That's why that plug is in the middle of the wall. Shouldn't ever did that. Shouldn't ever did that. <coughs> so guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. Um, don't know how long this process will take, but I will share it with you and take you along the journey. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.